Hello everyone, I have a special makeup tutorial video to share with you today and this is going to be my very first Asian inspired makeup look. So the Agusta trend in Korea has been popular for a few years now and I'm just getting around to it. But this makeup look is wearable for just about anybody and as you can see it is a very bright highlighted eye look and that's what the Agusta trend does. It enhances the eyes and makes them look younger, more cheerful and Agusta in Korean refers to this section of muscle and fat that's right below the lower lash line but above the dark circles. So the best way to achieve this look and really enhance the eyes is to start with prepping the skin and making sure that you have a clean base to start your flawless complexion. So I actually showed you my bare face without any foundation or makeup which I haven't done in a while so you'll be able to see that my acne scars have been clearing up really well and obviously it takes time. Acne scars take sometimes years to heal but I'm really happy with the the progress of my skin so I'm happy to share my skin with you without any makeup on it but going back to the Eggosa trend it's really popular because it makes you look younger and it gives you a more vibrant cheerful appearance so I really do like this look and I think it's very flattering I think it is quite cute and I think that's the best adjective for this look and even if your eyes don't have Eggosa this makeup will allow you to achieve the look that mimics the Eggosa effect so I do have an Eggosa so when I smile you see that little pocket of fat and muscle that seems to really stick out at you. Well, the makeup only enhances that effect, yet in the most polished, pretty way possible. So I did amp up the effect a lot to make sure it showed up on camera, and I used a combination of cream and powder eyeshadows to really help enhance the effect. But you can always just stick to either powder or cream if that's what you prefer for something more natural. And before we move on to the tutorial, I did just want to mention that I used the Wayne Goss Face Set Brushes in this video, so you'll be able to see these in Action before I go ahead and review them on the blog. And now, without any further ado, let's begin with the tutorial. I'm going to begin the tutorial with a clean face, so I've already washed and toned my skin, and now I'm going to start with the new SK2 Salumination Essence, and this aura is perfect as a moisturizer for the skin. And I'm going to just go ahead and show you the applicator. It has a dropper, so I'm just going to use three drops one on my forehead, one on each cheek, and I'm going to use this like a moisturizer. And it actually works to really hydrate the skin, but more importantly, it will make sure that my complexion looks as bright as possible. Then I'm going to follow up with my SK2 Facial Treatment Essence Eye, and this is a brand new product, and this eye cream is formulated to help with dark circles. That makes this eye cream perfect for the Eggosa makeup trend because you want to reduce the dark circles and minimize puffiness as much as possible so that the Eggosa is highlighted. I'm going to tap in just a little bit under each eye, and I'm going to focus especially along the inner corner area. Now that I've given a minute for my SK2 Salumination Aura to sink into the skin, I'm going to powder my face, and this is a new tip that Wayne Goss just released on his YouTube channel. So I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. This is the Smooth Operator, and this really silky finishing powder will help to give the complexion a really smooth, bright look since it will fill in pores and reflect light. Now that the skin has been prepped with skincare and primed with powder, I'm going to go ahead and use my By Terry Cover Expert Foundation, which is one of my favorites at the moment. Feel free to use a brush if that's what you prefer, but I'm choosing to use my fingers today because this mousse, this liquid mousse texture of the By Terry Foundation does really well with the fingertips. And now that my foundation is on and ready to go, I'm going to use my concealer palette by M Cosmetics in light, and I'm going to use this palette with my Sigma Angled Pixel Concealer Brush, the F69, to conceal any of my acne scars, and I'm going to use a combination of this yellow here with a little bit of the orange corrector here. Spot concealing will make your entire complexion look flawless, especially if you top with a powder after blending it all in. And now that my blemishes have been concealed, I'm going to work on my under eyes to ensure that my dark circles are completely concealed. The SK2 Facial Treatment Essence Eye Cream that we applied earlier will help to reflect light and reduce the look of dark circles, but a little concealer always helps a lot. 
So just go ahead and be a little bit liberal with your concealer. This Remedy Pen by Marc Jacobs is fairly sheer, so it's actually great for this look. It brightens well, but the coverage isn't too heavy. So just blend out with a finger until it's all nice and smooth. And last but not least for the complexion, I'm going to set all of the foundation and concealer with a light finishing powder. And this one is by the Japanese brand Kupgetto. And this is the OC1 Triple Lighting Powder. Now we're going to get started on the most important element of this Egosa look, which is obviously the eyes. And I'm going to use two cream eyeshadows to begin with. I'll be starting with the By Terry Ombre Black Star in number three, Blonde Opal, which is the perfect champagne color for any complexion. I'm going to first line about halfway on the lower lash line to really brighten up and highlight the inner corner area. And as you can see already, it's an instant brightening effect. Next is the Ombre Black Star in 13 Brown Perfection. And this is just going to become our base for the powder eyeshadows. So this doesn't have to be very clean. You can be a little bit messy since we're going to smudge this out with our fingers. I'm just using my ring finger to blend quickly. Now to set the Ombre Black Star Cream Pencils, I'm going to use my Kevin and Kwan Eyeshadow Duo in number 207. And I'm going to begin with the number 6 Wayne Gosk V Collection Eye Brush and use the Soft Gold Lame. And this will ensure that the combination lasts all day long, staying nice and vibrant. Then I'm going to take the number 4 Wayne Goss Collection Eye Brush and pick up the Smoky Brown to intensify the outer corner. I'm just going to wing out the shadow. Now I'm going to use my Tom Ford Smoky Eye Brush and pick up the Smoky Brown once more. Let's drag it just gently along the bottom of the highlight, and this will create extra dimension for the highlighter so that this section of the eye pops more, whereas the dark color of the brown will recede backwards. Thanks to the concealer that we applied to the dark circles before we started with the eyeshadow, you will be able to see the cute Eyosa effect without the distraction of any darkness of the eyes. So that's why it's so important to have a flawless base for this look. And now that the eyeshadows are complete, I'm going to line my eyes with the By Terry. And this is a great felt tip liquid eyeliner for those interested. To finish off the eyeliner, I'm going to use my Giorgio Armani Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil in Black to line only the upper water lines. We want to leave the lower water lines bare so that it enhances the Egyosa effect of the eyeshadow. Make sure you push the pencil as deep as you can into the roots of the lashes. Now I'm going to use these velour lashes and you complete me to finish off the eyes. And there you have it everyone, my take on the Korean Egyosa eye makeup trend. And now I'm just going to finish up the rest of the face with some color on the lips and cheeks. I'm going to start with the cheeks. I'm going to use a little bit of a contour powder. I'm not going to use bronzer today because in Asia, bronzer isn't very popular since everyone likes to look as fair as possible. I'll be using the Dolce & Gabbana Blush & Tan using the Wayne Goss Face Set Brush in number 12. I'm just going to sculpt the cheek a little bit and take up the color to the temples. I'm also going to take it down the sides of the nose to raise the bridge a little bit. And for blush, I'll be using a combination of two colors today, a cool baby pink and a vibrant poppy using my Wayne Goss blush brush in number 14. 
So now that the cheeks are done, I'm going to finish off with the lips. And I did apply a little bit of foundation around the edges of the lips. And that just helps to erase the lip line so it creates a really youthful lip look. After trial and error, I have found that the perfect ombre lip product is the YSL Lip Stain. And I'm going to be using the color number 25, Neo Fuchsia, today. And the base of the color is going to be concentrated at the center of the lips. So I'm going to begin by dabbing the color into the center of the lips. Just pressing my lips together and just layering and blending until we get a really natural looking ombre effect. And now that the staining effect is complete, I'm going to use a little bit of lip gloss to top the lips and smooth everything out to finish off that look. And that's a wrap for this Korean-inspired Egyosa makeup look. So I hope you enjoyed it since it is a little bit different. My very first Asian-inspired makeup tutorial. So if you have any further questions about any of the products that I used, please list them down below in the comment box and I'll try to give back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!